Hello everyone, welcome back to New England Graveyard. Jason here, and I am in Milton, Massachusetts at the creatively named Milton Cemetery. And I am here with ice cream magnate Howard Johnson. Howard Johnson was born in Boston in 1897. Uh, he served in World War I as part of the American Expeditionary Force, but after, his, after he returned, his father died, leaving him his, uh, cigar, his father's cigar store, which was heavily in debt. He sold the business to pay off the debts in 1924, and then he borrowed $2,000 to buy a small corner drug store and soda fountain in Wollaston, Massachusetts. He sold candy, newspapers, cigars, medicine, and was very successful. But the popularity of the soda fountain convinced him that having better tasting ice cream would boost his business. At first, he used his mother's recipe, but he wasn't satisfied with this, so he invested $300 in an ice cream recipe from an elderly German immigrant who was retiring. This premium ice cream recipe utilized natural flavors and twice the normal level of butterfat. Johnson began with three flavors, eventually increasing this to 28 flavors. He also sold his ice cream at local beaches to post business. A local restaurant owner who purchased the ice cream from the drugstore asked to use the Howard Johnson name on his restaurant. Johnson agreed, which made him the exclusive source of supplies. The restaurant combined with a lunch counter, fast food takeout, an ice cream stand, and a sit-down restaurant all in one location. Johnson soon began selling franchises of his restaurants. The white buildings, trimmed with orange and sea blue, became the Howard Johnson trademark. By 1940, Johnson had about 135 restaurants. During World War II, 90% of the restaurants was closed due to gas rationing, but the industrious Johnson contracted manufacturer candy and other goods for the armed forces. After the war, he began to expand his chains nationwide. More Americans were beginning to travel, and Johnson saw a better need for better quality motels and hotels to meet the needs of the travelers and their families. Johnson created motor hotels, offering good services and cleanliness. Johnson retired in 59, leaving the company to his son. However, he continued to monitor his restaurants for cleanliness and proper food preparation, often performing unannounced in inspections. By 65, Howard Johnson's name was found on 770 restaurants and 265 motor hotels. By 1965, his sales exceeded those of McDonald's, Burger King, and Kentucky Fried Chicken combined. Hojo's was the second largest food feeder in the U.S., second only to the U.S. Army. Then American eating habits changed. The landmark Times Square Hojo's was shuttered at the close of business in, on July 8, 2005. As of 2006, only five Howard Johnson res restaurants and none of the ice cream shops remain in the United States, mainly due to increased competition from fast food restaurants and their low prices. Nevertheless, Howard Johnson made it possible for travelers and families on the go to eat nutritiously and enjoy a higher standard in all those aspects of hospitality that was previously available. In fact, now, as I'm recording this in 2021, I think there might be only one left up in Maine, though that might have been shuttered. Uh, I did have a Howard Johnson's that was near me, and I remember it was really good. I used to go there, get the ice cream, and then they did like some uh, frozen food, and I remember my mother used to get uh, toasties. We would have those for breakfast. They'd be like little uh, blueberry cakes. So, here is the rather sizable uh, marker for Howard Johnson. As you saw, the Name is engraved on the top of it. And here's the back. So let's give you a little find a grave. What the uh, coordinates on find a grave was spot on. Very nice cemetery. So. There we go. Howard Johnson's Restaurant. Ask your parents about it. I'm sure they've got to remember it. So uh, until next time, I want to thank you for joining me uh, here 
on New England Graveyard. Somewhere down there is a comment section. If there's any other uh, New England based graves you'd like me to cover, uh, please feel free to leave a comment. And over here, I think, is a subscribe button. You really want to hit that because you never know what, I, what I'm going to be post posting next. I like to be a little random that way. So uh, until next time, have a great day and I'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Bye.